Channel 4 and Independent Health. We're caring for you. The tension building for 500 danger-filled miles. Jeff Burton succeeded in the first 500-miler on this track. Mark Martin claimed the second 500 here. And last year, Texas Terry Labonte administered a Texas whipping to the elite of NASCAR. In the last three years, this race has been, for many, a matter of survival. The question, who will survive to claim the 500-miler today in Texas? before the storm, the quiet time, before all that pent-up power and energy is directed onto this mile-and-a-half track for the DirecTV 500. Winston Cup stock car racing returning to Texas. And there you see the starting field on pit road, 43 strong for $4 million, about to unroll in all of its passionate glory and action. Let's go trackside right now. Hello, everyone. Ken Squire with you. We're just about there, just about ready for that command to get this race underway. But for a moment, we'll spend it with Dick Bergren and one of the all-time favorites here in Texas. Terry Labonte owns all the records here at Texas Motor Speedway. Fastest qualifying lap, fastest race ever run here. He's led more laps than anybody else. What do you got for him today, Terry? Well, I don't know. You know, it rained yesterday, and uh, I just hope our setup is close and... Uh... We feel like we won't be too far off. We'll just have to make the right adjustments. Try to be right at the end. Well, good luck to you today. Let's go to Ralph Shaheen. A week ago, Rusty Wallace reached an amazing milestone in his racing career, his 50th Winston Cup win. But you did that on a half mile in Bristol, Tennessee. Today, a treacherous mile and a half. What are the keys to victory here? Well, you got to have a great handling race car for number one and good pit stops. Last year, we finished fourth and had a great car at the end of the race. Yesterday morning in practice, we were super good. So I'm real confident for today's race. Again, Rusty will start 19th today. And he will be coming in strong after that great run he had at Bristol, Tennessee to win number 50. Well, we're just about there. Getting down in the count, getting ready to fire them up here. But let's for a moment go topside and meet the guys who will be making the call for you. A 50-time winner, Ned Jarrett's with Buddy Baker. And here's Mike Joy. Thanks, Ken, and hello, everyone. Welcome to what they proclaim on T-shirts to be the asphalt frontier here at Texas Motor Speedway. Well, Rusty Wallace is the 10th NASCAR driver to hit the 50 mark. 50 victories. Ned Jarrett has 50, as does Junior Johnson. And look at the bottom line, however. Uh, Rusty's, uh, oh, about 22, 21 and three-quarter million ahead of Ned. But there's one thing Rusty doesn't have with all that money, and that's his own Wheaties box. Ned Jarrett's one of four NASCAR legends to be so honored, joining other sport greats. You'll be able to pick that one up in your local grocery store later on this year. Well, Ned, so much for breakfast. How about today's race? Well, it'll be interesting, Mike, because it has already been alluded to. Their last practice was rained out last night. What they normally call happy hour, the most important practice session, they didn't get the run. They practiced yesterday morning, but a lot has happened since then. They ran the 300-mile bush race in and out of the showers, and, of course, it's rained since that race. And so they don't really know what the setup of the race cars will be. Most of them have built a lot of adjustments into the cars that they can adjust on it during the race today. Well, if you look at this track from the helicopter, it looks much like Atlanta or Charlotte. Same shape, pretty much the same size. But, Buddy Baker, what's it look like from through the windshield? <laughs> it's totally different, believe me. This racetrack is one of those racetracks that when you really start in there and, and get going, hey, it's a different animal, totally. Well, Fritos will take you inside racing, and Buddy will take you for a lap around Texas Motor Speedway. Well, let's just go right out of the pit road into turn one. Preferred line right on the bottom. As you sweep out of the turn, right up against the wall. 195 or better down the back straightaway into a tricky third turn. 
This is the turn you have to watch for. You come out right against the wall, double dog leg down the front straight away and back into turn one. Getting set to go as we're just minutes away from the command. 43 riders will take on the asphalt frontier here in Texas. CBS Sports coverage of the DirecTV 500 is sponsored by DirecTV. What are you looking at? Haviland, add more life to your car. And by Ford Outfitters, no boundaries. Whether it's a dirt track in the Dakotas or here on this giant Texas Motor Speedway, here are the words that will raise the hair on the back of your head. Please welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, the Grand Marshal of today's DirecTV 500, Mr. Larry Latham, with those most famous words in motorsports. Gentlemen, start your engine! turned up we're ready to go racing now look at the starting lineup and the green flag next Tuesday on CBS when Max integrity is questioned harm will go to extremes to fight for her honor don't miss an all-new JAG America's number one action drama Tuesday on CBS flying high above Texas Motor Speedway now this is the way to get to the racetrack Providing aerial pictures for you today, the Bud One Airship, Budweiser, official beer of NASCAR. Let's have a look at our ranchhead.com starting grid for today's 500 miler. 26th career pole for Terry Labonte, the defending champ of this race, and Kevin LePage has his second front row start this year. Scott Pruitt, his second top five start of the season, and Dale Earnhardt Jr., he's been in the top 10 six times this year. Dale Jarrett, the Daytona 500 winner, twice runner-up here, and Steve Park, who was fourth at Atlanta and seventh at Bristol. Rookie Jeff Fuller, the former modified champion, has his first top ten start, and Jerry Nadeau, his third top ten of the season. Ward Burton, the winner two weeks ago at Darlington, and Mark Martin, winner of this race two years ago. Mike Skinner, who came so close to that first career win in Atlanta, and Joe Nemechek, who was fourth here in 98. Matt Kenseth, who leads the Rookie of the Year chase. And Bobby Labonte, winner at Rockingham. Stacy Compton has his best start of the season. And Chad Little. Dale Earnhardt, who won at Atlanta last month. And Ed Barrier. Rusty Wallace, who got that 50th career win last week. And Ricky Rudd. Michael Waltrip with Bill Elliott, who had a strong third at Daytona. Jeff Gordon hasn't won since Charlotte in October. And Dave Blaney makes his Texas debut. Brett Bodine cracked the top 25 in qualifying. And Johnny Benson coming off that impressive runner-up finish at Bristol. Kenny Irwin, last year's pole sitter. And Dick Trickle in the Joe Bessie, Jeffrey Bodine car. Gary Bradbury makes his first start of the season, replacing Rick Mast to the 41. Darrell Waltrip, three-time Winston Cup champion, solidly in the field. Jeremy Mayfield, fifth here last year. And Kenny Wallace, his fourth start at Texas. Adam Petty is NASCAR's first fourth generation racer today, and Rick Mast has moved into the A.J. Foyt car. Elliott Sadler finished in the top ten here last year, and Ken Schrader ninth at Daytona. Then the provisional starters, Jeff Burton, who won this race in 97, and Tony Stewart, last year's Rookie of the Year. Sterling Marlin, who has two top tens in Texas, and John Andretti looking for his third career victory today. Jimmy Spencer, seventh year two years ago, and Bobby Hamilton with three Winston Cup wins to his credit. And finally, Robert Presley, who scored a career-best third-place finish here two years ago. In fact, there were five drivers who failed to qualify for this race. Todd Budine, Wally Dollenbach, Dave Marcus, Kyle Petty, and Robbie Gordon. Only six-tenths of a second separated first and last. Manufactured breakdown in today's field. There will be 18 Fords, 16 Chevrolets, and nine Pontiacs. You see that Ford is leading right now with three wins this year over one for Chevrolet, two for Pontiac. 